Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Super Bowl Sunday. It's 10:15, and it is just freaking nasty out. It is 49 degrees, and it's basically raining sideways. Here, I'll show you. This is why I told her we should have gone and done all that shopping yesterday. Now she's going to be absolutely miserable going out into this. And we're going to have to go to at least Target Trader Joe's, at least, and who knows where else. That's going to suck for me too, because like this is awful. So I'm already drenched and I was just walking outside to come out here to get bagels. So yes, it is another glorious bagel Sunday, but it's pretty awful out. So I definitely don't see myself going out and doing anything other than perhaps us going out and going grocery shopping and me picking up these bagels. Nah, I'm not doing anything outside. But for now, time to get bagels because I'm freaking hungry and it's late because I slept in because I felt like it because it's shitty out. Bagels gotten. Still wet. Blah. All right, let's go snarf. Good morning. Yes, it's still morning. It's Monday morning, so good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, I just got deliveries, so we're gonna go pick those up. I got the pair of sunglasses from Clocks and Colors that I originally wanted. They came back in stock, went on sale, plus I got my silver member discount, which was even bigger of a discount. Sale, whatever, I paid less, a lot less. Oh, and I got a ring stretching mechanism because I wanna stretch one of my rings out. We're going to go pick all that up right now. It's a gorgeous sunny day out. I think that it's not that warm though. Might only be in the 50s, which is better than the 30s. So, all right, let's go get all this stuff and come back. Okay, so since I'm stuck at the light here, I'm opening up my clocks and color sunglasses. Got another pair. These are light, nice and light. Oh yeah, I'm styling. These aren't what I call functional sunglasses. These are form. This is just for a look. If I'm gonna wear a pair of sunglasses that I actually want to, I don't know, wrap around, protect my eyes, I'm gonna wear my Oakleys. Okay, enough. Let's go to the bank. Everything's actually accomplished. I picked up my packages, I went to the bank, and I did very, very little grocery shopping She's got a little uh, thing at work that she's got to do something for, so I bought all that shit. And I also went and got cat litter. I ordered a new cat litter box and a poop holder, and I didn't want to put a bunch of new litter in and throw it away because I, on Thursday I'm just going to switch it all out. But there's no more cat litter, and he doesn't have enough in his thing. So I was like, screw it, I'll just buy another cat litter and I'll put a little bit in there and then save the rest for when the new stuff comes. Yes, I know you want to know about cat litter, but it's all part of my exciting days. So I, I ordered that shit yesterday. Again, it'll be here so that when I come back and then on Thursday, I can set all that shit up. See, he's all excited about it. Probably because I smell like cat litter and pet store and all that stuff. So we're going to put groceries away now. Also got myself some lunch. So I got some clam chowder and this everything but the bagel seasoned smoked salmon. So delicious. She didn't like it. She doesn't like the smell of it. So I try to eat it when she's not around. And I'm about to wet my pants. Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Tuesday morning, about 10 after 8. I'm running a little bit behind, and I'm going to get a lot more behind because I am going to three ships to get some Valentine's treats. And they've got this drink. It, it's some kind of cold canned coffee type thing. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm heading to three ships, and then I've got a two and a half hour drive to the first meeting. So, let's go do all that. Okay, kids, it's 451. Isn't that a move? Fahrenheit 451? Something like that. Anywho, I am done with my meetings for the day. I'm driving to the hotel. I have been driving for a while. I still have about a, a little over a half an hour left before I get to the hotel. It is a rather nice day out. It's 66 degrees and sunny, so it's been pleasant the entire time. And I'm all about that because, again, the last time I came this way, it was freaking cold. 
it seems like a lot of my routes, I end up in the middle of nowhere with no signal. So earlier today, I couldn't listen to any, any YouTube videos. I couldn't uh, get emails. I couldn't get attached as a, a hotspot to try to do my a couple of things for work. It just sucks. And it's the 21st century. I almost said it's the 23rd century because it's 2023. It's the 21st century, 2023. I cannot believe in this country that there are places that have absolutely no signal. No Wi-Fi, no freaking cellular, and that's no cellular on two different services. Like, come on, seriously? You know, we're not in Antarctica. I mean, there's, it's not the Gobi Desert. I mean, what the hell? So yeah, it kind of bothers me that there's so many places where I just lose all signal and it becomes very frustrating. So yeah, given that I have a lot of work to do tonight, if I go to this hotel and I've got shit Wi-Fi and I, and I can't do this work, I'm gonna be really pissed. Okay, we'll hope for the best, but for now, maybe I'll do some singing. Good morning, all. Devious Monkey here. It is 8.56 on Wednesday morning. I just left the hotel. Interesting stay. I seem to always get a room that has a sink that backs up and then drains slowly. Fairly annoying. Some of them fill up really quickly. Uh, but what are you gonna do other than complain? In addition to the backed up sink, there were also ants in the room. Now, I could only see them in the bathroom part where the shitter was, because you know that was a light colored tiled floor and there's the, the little tiny ants. Uh, but if, if they're in there, that means they're in the room as well. And you know, you can't see them on the carpet. So nothing I could do about that. Uh, I mean, it wasn't an insane amount. I mean, when I got up this morning, all my stuff that was on the sink, there were no ants or anything like that. So, you know, I'm not going to complain too much about it, but they were there. So when I left, she was like, oh, okay, you know, how, how was your stay if you'd rated on a, on a one to 10? I was like, eh. I said, I guess I'll give you an eight. And she's like, well, and I go, two things. And I explained to her that, that the sink had a, had a slow drain and it was backed up and that they had ants. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And I go, well, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like I woke up covered in ants that I'm aware of. And she just sort of giggled and she said, well, since you're a, you know, a whatever the hell member I am, uh, you know, because I stay at these hotels so much, uh, I'll, I'll give you 5,000 points. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. Okay, a couple more things. This isn't necessarily dumb monkey, because I didn't know, but apparently I had a, uh, like a chip a jag on my nail and when i went to push my hair back i i sliced my forehead open not like a crazy amount but now i'm gonna be walking around with this big ass red line on my forehead all day and that kind of sucks and then on top of that this is something that that's like this is what happens in the morning with me and i you know i've been off the road for a while and i'm also not used to having contacts i forgot to bring contacts with me that means that today I can't see as crisply, but that's okay because I don't really need to see super duper and, and the prescription is so small that it isn't that big of a deal. Uh, I won't be able to see close up as well because if there's one thing those contacts are good for, it, it's seeing close up. All right, I'm already almost at the dealer here, uh, but well, I'm pretty much at the dealer. so. Uh, let's go get this first meeting knocked out and then down the road a little ways there's a Starbucks and we're gonna get some food for a change because I think the last time I did this I didn't stop and I drove and I was going meeting to meeting to meeting and you know how that goes so all right let's go have meetings okay so what we have going on here is a half-dressed dude with his pants coming down basically running through oh there his pants are all the way down now and boom Okay, so the cop finally got a hold of him. He can't move because his pants are down. The cop's trying to pull his pants up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here comes two more cops. Boom. Now he's down. Okay. Down. Cuffs are coming out. Trying to get him. He's a fighter. And he's built. He's not small. Okay. So this is the excitement for today. Finally getting him. Okay, go ahead, pull in front of me, that's all right. So clearly the guy's got issues. All right, so I was able to go in and pee in this Hardee's. 
and get a burger and fries. You know, perfect, perfect for me getting this crap, but whatever. I just don't want to take the time to do anything else. Let's continue to make our way back to the beach. Hey kids, it's Saturday morning and it is cold outside. It's not even 40 degrees. Like I said, about a 30 degree temperature drop. Boo. But I'm going to go have breakfast. I don't know if I'm going to make it to VB Flea just because of the fact that it's, it's already 10 after 10. I've been ticking around all morning, deciding on which camera that I wanted to keep. Okay, here you go, Yankee. I've decided to switch my melon thought and I'm going to sell the A7R4 and keep the A7 IV. It's the newer camera. It's got the flippy screen that I, turns out that I really liked and uh, everything's, you know, newer, blah, 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 blah. So I just went through and I switched everything and got everything together for the R4 to be in its original box along with the grip. And then I put the four back together with the grip. Uh, you know, I'm good to go now. And I also took a picture of, or a screenshot of the shutter count. The shutter count on my a7 IV is tiny. I mean, it's, it's, I think it was like 474. I mean, I haven't taken that many pictures with it because I was using it for filming mostly. And the a7 R4, I think only has like 8,000 something. So it's, it's an infant and that's pretty much it. All right, the cat wants me to open up all the blinds. So it's a lot brighter in here. So let's do that. Oh, let's put our winter jacket on and go get some breakfast. Okay, kids. So here I sit on Monday, President's Day. I have the day off. I have literally been working since eight o'clock this morning on day job stuff. <sighs> now, it's simply because of the fact, because I've been doing so much for that territory that I haven't had time to do everything for mine and get that flow going. Now, I'm just gonna sort of give you a brief overview of, of what I have planned. I have so much footage from last week and every week it's the same thing because now I'm filming throughout each day all week and then throwing a video together on Saturday and, you know, having to go through all that footage. It's actually worse than if I just filmed something small and post it every day. Now, I'm not going to be able to cut a video together every day. It's just not possible when I'm on the road like that. I'm too damn tired by the time I get to the hotel room. I have other shit to do or I don't feel like doing anything. And the last thing I'm going to do is cut together a video. It's just not going to be done. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to post something every day again because I miss doing that. But I'm going to say Monday through Friday, I'm posting a short and that's it so that I can post something every day. I don't know what it's going to be. I'll try to make it interesting but there's gonna be a short every day, Monday through Friday, and then one video on the weekend. But I'm gonna to try to, to make that video just a little bit beefier and not as much of a compilation of the week because I just can't do it. So not gonna do it anymore. That's gonna be the big change. Shorts Monday through Friday, one video on the weekend. Okay, so I've also changed my intro and I made that as short as possible and I put it together myself rather than buying one from some other place that throws all their own shit together and it's going to be quick and easy. That's that. My outros, I have changed, I think, a couple of times over the years and now it's getting to the point where I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I'm not going to ask you to like. You're going to do what you want to do. I'm just going to say thanks for joining me and whatever else. All right, so I'm going to keep this short and to the point. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me, and remember kids, forward and up.